the Function with Purpose podcast. All things health, wellness, fitness, and education with a physical therapy perspective. I am Dr. Amy Bullock, owner and founder of Fortress Physical Therapy. Fortress PT is here to serve the Charlotte metro area by highlighting the importance of how and why physical therapy should be a part of your health and wellness lifestyle. Here we go. Episode number five of the FPT Function with Purpose podcast. We are live. Well, pre-recorded. Dr. Amy here. Um, Welcome. Back to the closet we go. So, today's topic. Kind of want to inform you guys about the meaning of being a cash-based physical therapy clinic. So the whole concept behind a cash-based physical therapy clinic is to not have this affiliation with health insurances, or like I used to say, or previously have said, sickness insurance, right? You pay for what you get. Therefore, when you seek out services for physical therapy, like my clinic, Fortress Physical Therapy, we try to paint in promote value to our patients that, yeah, I mean, they get their money's worth, but honestly, it ain't all about that. The main concept is not having insurances tell us, the physical therapists, how many visits a patient is supposed to have. Say if they're post-op, they just had a surgery, maybe they had a rotator cuff uh, repair. Well, submit that to their insurance to receive physical therapy uh, services. And then the insurance turns around and tells them, oh yeah, based on your massive tear in the surgery that you had, you only get 20 visits for the year. Oh my gosh, a massive rotator cuff tear only requiring 20 visits of physical therapy? Because a person sitting behind a desk, like I preached before, is determining how many physical therapy sessions someone may need in a situation like this. No bueno. No bueno. So, don't follow the norm. This will be the future of healthcare, the future of physical therapy. So a cash-based clinic, meaning one shot, one stop, tending to your injury, or maybe your post-surgical therapy, right? Because as a physical therapist, I would have to say 90% of the time, someone comes to me because they're in pain. So it's up to me and educating my patient that they have the power to make changes and get themselves out of pain. I just direct them. I guide them, and then in turn makes them think that, you know, they're fixing the issue, right? Because I want to create power within the patient. So one shot, one stop, meaning I'll clearly use myself as an example. So I've went through extensive training throughout my eight years of being a physical therapist. So I'm dry needle certified. I do spinal manipulative therapy meaning the clicks, pops, adjustments, whatever you want to call it, to the neck, to the back, to the low back, to the arms, to the knees, to the elbows, to the hands. I also do some body tempering, some cupping, right? Yeah, those are great modalities and they help patients get better. But the goal of physical therapy is to slow your roll as a patient and really understand that... um, movement and exercise is going to help you get better, right? So by being a cash-based clinic or a clinic who is not affiliated with any health insurances, you're not limited to the amount of physical therapy visits you get per year, right? You budget that amount 
and you go see your physical therapist, however the session, however much the session may cost. And if that therapist provides the value that you're looking for, then by gosh, they are worth it. You know, throughout this pandemic that happened last year in 2020, I, I used to question myself a lot. You know, am I worth it as a therapist? And, you know, owning my own business for going on three years this upcoming summer of July 2021, yeah, I'm worth it. I know I'm worth it. And that's the value that I want to bring to my patients. Yes, knowing that I'm confident in my skills and in my education that I provide my patients, that or focusing on the, the little stuff, the quality stuff, in order to create longevity down the road, right? So you're not limited by how many physical therapy visits you can get if you go to a privately owned cash-based physical therapy clinic. Right? Because in North Carolina, in pretty much all 50 states, have some form of what we call direct access. Meaning you don't need a physician note to go see a physical therapist. Right? You, you don't need to really necessarily check in with your health insurance or what I say, sickness insurance, and how many physical therapy sessions you may get per year. That's up to you. Right? As soon as you cross that direct la uh, direct line um, of direct access line, when you see your physical therapist on your first initial evaluation, you can come and go as you please. And that's what I promote at my clinic. Once that patient comes in, that first step, they're making a choice. They're making a choice to make themselves better. And you're, you're worth it. I'm worth it. And I hope to provide that value that you're seeking. I know I'm not for everybody. I can't fix everybody. But find your clinic. Find your physical therapist who is going to go over the mountain, through the mountain, to help make you better and live a better health and wellness lifestyle. Keeping you out of pain. Moving better. Better quality. Quality over quantity of movement. Which then carries over to your long-term goals. Maybe it's to lift your two-year-old child above your head, right? Because they like kind of a little bit being tossed up in the air. I remember when, when I was little, maybe I don't remember that far back, but I remember my brothers and my dad would pick me up by my belt loops from my jeans and they would throw me around and carry me around like, like Superman. So, you know, you got to have strength for that. Finger strength, oh my gosh, right? So, and oh, by the way, if you work for someone, um, you may qualify for HSA, meaning health savings account. That can be a payment utilization for healthcare expenses, and physical therapy is part of that healthcare expense. So, look at that. Your employer, or let me back that up, your high deductible insurance sickness plan what I call it, not health care plan, can help pay for health care expenses. And then on the flip side, if you work for someone, your employer may provide you with an FSA, meaning flexible spending account, that can also be used for health care expenditures. And physical therapy is a part of that. Oh, and by the way, FSA has some other perks to it. Can be used for child care expenses too. HSA and FSA, we're going to talk about that on another episode. But circling back around, what does it mean to be a cash based clinic? Well, it means a one shot, one stop, one kill, one, one dip in the pond, one going to the deep end. You get all of the works, right? Assessing your pain, assessing your movement quality, assessing your goals. Creating longevity down the road. Physical therapy can do that. Physical therapy is direct care. You can come and go as you please. As soon as you cross that direct access line, especially in North Carolina and South Carolina, because I'm credentialed in both, I'm licensed in both states. 
There's no cap to seeing a physical therapist if you seek out the value that you are looking for in order to make your health and wellness better in the long run. So if you're in the South Charlotte area, get a hold of me, Fortress Physical Therapy. Clinic is located in Pineville, North Carolina, within the CrossFit gym that I coach at, CrossFit Pineville. I'll be glad to help you guys, and if I'm not the one, I can help uh, point you to the right direction of which therapist um, can help better serve you. That's a wrap for today's episode, Function with Purpose podcast. For more information on this episode, check out the show notes within your podcast app. Be sure to subscribe, like, share, or drop your comments and questions below. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and LinkedIn. Thanks for the listen. Pursuit, precision, purpose.